and the brand new district, which is St. Claude, which developed in response to the artist's needs after Katrina came in 2005. In the 1990s, the warehouse district of New Orleans was in disrepair. In an attempt to bring much needed tourist dollars, a few of the galleries in the area banded together and formed the Art District New Orleans. Since then, Julie Street has become synonymous with the arts area in New Orleans for blue chip galleries. It is now one of the more fashionable places in all of town with large brightly lit galleries, eateries, and fantastic bars. Sure. Historically, this is the American sector of New Orleans, so we are not, the French Quarter is on the opposite side of Canal Street, this side is the American side, so architecturally it will be quite different than what one normally thinks of when they think of New Orleans. Hi, I'm Matthew Weldon Showman, and I am the gallery director and partner here at Jonathan Farrar Gallery, which is a part of the Arts District New Orleans, of which I am also the president. Yeah, the organization was formed about 20 years ago and it really kind of started coming to life after Katrina when galleries by and large were moving to one central area which is here in what was formerly known as the Warehouse District. And when the galleries came to this neighborhood, we then started seeing a lot of other type of commerce come. So businesses were moving in, um, a lot of restaurants, hotels, so on and so forth. And then just in the last, I would say probably five or six years, a lot of residences. So this used to be an area that felt very much like a business district and was kind of like a dead zone after five o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, my name is Marcela Correa. Uh, we are in the Arts District. Currently, we're at Jonathan Farrar Gallery. Uh, my family is actually from Argentina, but I was born in Kenner, actually. Went to school in New Orleans, grew up between Slidell, Kenner, and New Orleans. Um, so I've been here for a very long time, and I will tell you that the arts have always been here, obviously, and um, you know the galleries. A lot of the galleries have been here, but um, I think it was really after Katrina that things kind of exploded to the level that they're at right now. You know, we had Prospect, you know, come around right after it was like I think 2007 that the first Prospect was created, which is the, the big biennial that we have here. Now it's a triennial. Because of that, we ended up getting a lot of artists that moved down here to New Orleans because it was cheaper to live here. And as a result, you have the whole St. Claude Arts District, which is, you know, basically artist-run galleries and that are open on a second Saturday. So we do the first Saturdays, they do the second Saturdays. And it's nice because there's kind of like the symbiotic relationship. So today is uh, the first Saturday gallery openings, which we host every month. So on a normal first Saturday, you're probably going to have like 5,000 people come through. Could be a little bit more. It really just depends on the month. The hottest month of the year is August. How do you bring awareness to exhibitions that were opening on an otherwise very slow time of the art calendar year? The answer is White Linen Night. It was created by the newly established Art District New Orleans in the 1990s. This year marks the 25th anniversary. Uh, so for White Linen Night, we have about 40 to 50,000 people that come to Julia Street. They're all dressed in white. Um, and they will come here probably like around 5 o'clock. And the event goes on until about midnight. And then there's an after party at the CAC. Today, most people come because they want to come and you know, party in their white gown or whatever they're wearing in white and then they want to drink, but really for us it's about the art. Mm -hmm.